<clears throat> hot off the trails, hot off the trails uh, of a rousing debate, renewable energy debate. Uh, you guys are ready to move on with life. Let's get out of the magnetism rut and into some motion. So usually the first time, uh, the first thing we do when we embark on the motion journey uh, and when we're in the classroom is I present you guys with like a class-wide challenge where you have to measure and rank uh, the velocities of 12 different buggies, these uh, battery-powered, they're called constant velocity buggies um, because, well, they have, after you get them started, they go with constant velocity uh, for at least a little bit of time. Yeah, so you have to measure and rank them from fastest to slowest or whatever. And I actually, I just leave it at that. Um, it's the very first thing we do in the motion unit. So there really isn't much that I say about what velocity is. Um, people, groups end up figuring it out, how to do it and so on. So uh, we are not in the classroom, if you haven't found that out yet. Uh, so yeah, we'll kind of work around that as we have been doing. So yeah, here's the, here's the, here are the buggies that uh, we'll just do four of them. Um, you just need to think through like how this could be done uh, so that you can measure the velocity of each buggy um, or kind of like you're like telling me what to do, Mr. Mr. Phillips, here's what you need to do. And I'll do that. Uh, I'll record it uh, enough so that you're seeing enough. You're able to see enough in the vid so that you can at home uh, measure and calculate the velocity of each of the four buggies. Yeah, rank them fastest or slowest or whatever. Okay. But yeah, uh, battery operated switch to turn it on. Look at that thing go! Whoa! It's lucky. Look at the working headlights. That's cool. Um, who was that? Abby Davis, who was going to build one of these pretty much? Uh, anyway, so uh, I'll give you a little piece, a little nugget, because you guys, it's not exactly the same situation as being back in the classroom where you could all do the collabs and whatnot. So uh, here's a blast from the future, uh, something that you guys will get to a little bit later. But I'm going to give you this as a little tasting, a little sampler. Uh, velocity. Velocity is basically uh, an object's position a change in position rather over time. Okay. Uh, an object's change in position, a rate of change of position over time. Okay. So how rapidly does, does an object change its position within a given period of time? Okay. And you could see a couple plots here on the screen. Um, yeah, you'll be using these later, but anyway, I just thought I'd use it as a visual aid uh, so that as time progresses uh, with the given object that is actually moving, uh, its position is changing, okay? Uh, and it's doing that at a constant rate of change, okay? That, that you have a linear uh, direct relationship here. Um, if it, the change in position is not constant over time, uh, then you actually have a constantly changing velocity, which we call acceleration. We are not there yet, okay? So this experiment, this challenge or whatever should eliminate acceleration from it or you should not be considering acceleration. You guys are only doing constant velocity, meaning a constant, steady change in position over time. Okay, hopefully that's enough to get you rolling. Let's stop this thing. Stop it! <laughs> stop it, I'm tired.